day to all aspiring nurses, to all uh, nursing students out there in the Philippines. I hope you're doing good, you're doing well, especially this time of uh, pandemic. And I hope and pray that you are all well, you are all protected, you are all uh, with your family, especially. Um, and um, you are uh, continuing your uh, journey on becoming uh, the future nurses of this uh, country, of this world. And I uh, hope and pray blessings to you. So, um, for this uh, video uh, lecture series, we are going to discuss one of the most important topics, although it's sometimes uh, um, uh, discussed lesser, uh, especially during your first year, but you come to realize it uh, during your uh, during uh, the years um, ahead of you and this is very important especially uh, you are honed, you are molded, you are developed to be a uh, uh, very good, very uh, competent uh, nurse. Um, uh, this is all about the core competencies uh, under the 11 key areas of responsibilities and uh, during your nursing career uh, being a student I know uh, this is uh, taught to you by your um, CIs or your uh, educators, your clinical instructors, your lecturers in your respective institutions so this is just a brief uh, rundown or review or refresher of that uh, topic again this is very important um, your journey on um, becoming a future nurse uh, what are the the um, attributes what are the competencies okay? what are the responsibilities that you should have um, as a nurse so if you're still a first year, it is expected that um, you are already um, um, oriented okay, of what is expected uh, from you uh, of a, uh, f uh, from a future nurse like you. So every day you visualize, every day you pray, every day you do your best on reaching that goal of yours on becoming a uh, nurse okay so um, let me start discussing it so core competencies under the 11 key areas of responsibilities so this is the first part of this video lecture and uh, i will be dividing this 11 key areas of responsibilities with respective uh indicators, respective uh, core competencies in the different uh, videos. So um, I ask you to subscribe and to follow this uh, video series, this uh, channel for you to be updated of the, of the continuation of this video uh, lecture series and I'll be uploading uh, video lectures of the different topics under nursing that you might use in your uh, everyday reviews, studies, and um, I'll try my best to to uh, give the uh, the simplest, the the most facilitating way for you to understand the topics. So um, thank you so much. So let me start from when we start. So we have our core co as a nurse and as a developing nurse, we are expected to have uh, competencies. Uh, we are, or in other words, we are expected to be competent. Okay, and when you say you are competent, or you have you have that competency, you have that uh, in our language, no, so nursing, we have that knowledge, we have that skills. We have that attitude in other references we have that values of becoming a nurse uh, in in other translations in other references we have that ability okay uh, to practice nursing 
okay uh, in in terms of knowledge in terms of skills and uh, in terms of meeting the needs of our clients and um, we are expected to be uh, uh, what's this? to be accurate to be logical and uh, the, the nursing competency is uh, also divided into four areas which I'll be uh, introducing uh, later um, and this is also based on a CMO uh, number 14 series of 2009 which uh, I think uh, though it's already uh, this year 2021 it's still important to discuss this because no matter what year we are no matter what CMO or circular uh, memorandum orders will be um, published uh, it is still the competencies that is uh, very important of a nurse and um, uh, if you happen to browse the internet or other references especially uh, other parts of the or other countries uh, you may uh, encounter that every country have different presentations of competencies of carriers of responsibilities uh, other countries have lesser number okay? uh, if we have 11 other countries like uh, uh, Hong Kong I think have five others have seven so it boils to one that a nurse uh, for that matter should be competent okay so I'll be focusing my my this this video lecture series on the Philippine setting okay on what is this in on same o uh, number 14 series of 2009 so it is um what says uh the bsm program uh here in the philippines aims to uh, prepare a nurse uh, that is um uh, competent okay so uh being a competent nurse also have uh core values okay uh, as I've said during your first year you're already prepared by your institutions once you step foot on that institution once you step uh, once you, you have enrolled on that on that course it's expected that since from from day one you'll be molded that's why if you happen to to um, assist to um, notice first year you're already prepared for board examinations you're already prepared for wearing that white uniform you're already prepared for for going RLEs that's how we are trained in the nursing uh, education okay so and as part of the institution we hope and pray that you carry that values carry the teachings you carry that learning experiences uh, when you become a nurse already so that you can also have a, a, a change a contribution in our uh, profession so first before we proceed to the main uh, core competencies we have these core values okay, that uh, a, a nurse um, should always keep in mind keep in heart so these are uh, also important components I've said as said in the same mode, these are important components in the development of a professional nurse. So um, this is always emphasized, uh, the core values. And it's also emphasized that nurses are caring persons. Uh, care is our core. Oh, sorry. Yes. And, um, but before that, the first core value that is being taught to us is love of God. Always, anything, okay? uh, any matter uh, in, in, in relation to our profession, personal life, we always uh, seek God first. Uh, that's our first core value. Then second is caring as a core of nursing. And um, it's always, uh, as I've said earlier, it's always emphasized that um, this is our core this is our foundation this is what we are known for nurses are caring nursing is caring okay and um, uh, under that 
uh, being a caring nurse, we have to be compassionate, we have to be competent, we have to be confident, we have that sense of conscience and that commitment. So, um, and many more actually under the caring aspect. And um, when you see, I just want to emphasize um, a commitment. Yeah, uh, when you say you are committed or you have uh, that sense of commitment, you are committed to excellence in whatever you do. You always give your best as a nurse, as a developing nurse. Uh, commitment to discipline okay? um, for yourself as you relate to others. Uh, integrity, that sense of integrity that you do what is best even nobody is looking. Uh, so maybe this is one of the simplest explanations of being having that sense of integrity, doing good, doing what is best okay? uh, for you, for your, pro for, your, for your profession, for your patient, even nobody is looking. Okay? And the sense of professionalism. Then we also have the love of um, people. Okay? How do you show uh, love to your um, uh, patient? Uh, for example, aside from the services that you give, Okay. Uh, more than that is you should do it of quality, of um, um, respect for a uh, for the dignity of the person. Okay, then a uh, love of country uh, is being shown by your patriotism and your preservation and enrichment of environment and culture heritage. And when you say patriotism, uh, this is engagement in and fulfilling your social civic uh, duties uh, what is your responsibility in the community when you become a nurse or uh, as you prepare yourself as a nurse okay? and what do you contribute in the community in the society okay? and um, contributing to do good in the community also okay? what can you contribute in, in good governance in this government, in this country, in this state, okay? or, or being local in your own communities, in your own barangays. Okay? So that's, uh, those are the, these are the core values of an uh, expected nurse. Okay? So um, this, aside from the competencies that you are going to be having, you should always carry these core values. Okay? Uh, as I have mentioned earlier, these are important components in the development, in the molding, okay? in, in shaping uh, professional nurses of our country. Okay? So, um, the, the, the same of working, the program, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, wants to have a this, transdisciplinary approach uh, that enhances the core values of a uh, soon-to-be nurse. Okay? And according to CMO 14 series of 2009, uh, the BSM program aims to prepare a nurse upon completion of a program which uh, demonstrates or who demonstrates uh, beginning professional competencies and shall continue to assume responsibility for professional research findings in the practice of the profession okay so the 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 gist there is having the competencies okay having the the abilities having the knowledge the skills the attitude the values okay uh, for for assuming responsibility of becoming a professional nurse Okay, whether in the field of education, whether in the field of, of practice, okay, or in, in, in the research, or in your own, in the, in the entire society or the larger society. Okay? So, um, uh, um, first year, okay, uh, you're really expected to demonstrate okay, uh, these competencies okay, uh, gradually. You are introduced to this gradually, you are being exposed to this gradually, and you will learn this, you should imbibe this. 
uh, as you go through your nursing career. So um, these are um, key areas of responsibilities that a nurse uh, should demonstrate uh, competence. Okay? So in other words, without these manifestations, you can be considered incompetent in this key area. Okay? In this key area. And that's very challenging on our part. That's very demanding on our part. And we are expected to really meet these um, responsibilities of our profession. And I believe that this should be uh, discussed uh, to, to, to students who really wants to or who really want to be a nurse so that they would understand that this is nursing, this is the profession, okay? that you are wanting, that you are aspiring. It's not all about big money okay? that would come, okay? but you should be equipped, uh, you should be having these competencies first, you should be having this knowledge, these skills, okay, uh, attitude, okay. So what is the significance of this uh, uh, core competencies? So may I uh, enumerate first. First is uh, unifying framework for nursing practice, education, regulation. And when you say unifying framework for nursing practice, education, this is the the um, the, the core competencies uh, is the the uh, the connection, okay, among the different fields of nursing, the, in practice, education, regulation, okay. So that is the fusion of nursing in uh, regardless of what area of what aspect. Okay? That's the, the, the thing that connects the practice, the, the, the profession of nursing. Okay? It combines all aspects of nursing. Okay? So which is the core values. Because we can whether you are in the community, you are in the education, you are in the clinical setting, you have this, you should have this competencies. Okay? You should have this concept. You should have this, uh, um, this competencies with it. Okay? The second, uh, guide in nursing curriculum development. Okay, So when you say curriculum, um, these are the courses offered uh, by an institution, by a school, okay? Um, so, in the development, in the creation, in the making of the uh, curriculum, uh, one guide, uh, one, one factor to be considered is the core competencies, okay? Then, remember that uh, it is very important you need to consider com core competencies of a nurse because you are developing a nurse. Okay, you're dealing with students who wants to be a nurse. Okay, and uh, number three, framework in developing test syllabus uh, for nursing profession entrance. So these are for uh, basis of the test framework of the PRC Board of Nursing. Um, these are basis or guide for conceptualizing the examinations for aspiring nurses and. Um, you are expected okay, as an aspirant to have this already okay, and that's why it is being uh, placed okay, in your uh, examinations. Okay. Um, this one way of applying already what you know, what you have learned, what you have uh, planted during your four years uh, of, of studying nursing. Okay? It's not only the theories or principles of the different subjects, but much more of these uh, competencies. The number four is a tool, a you know, measure for the nurses' performance evaluation uh, in the practice of, if, if, of a practicing nurse already. Okay? So this is not only for aspiring nurses. 
this is not only for students but even so for the nurses already okay then basis for advanced nursing practice uh, uh, specialization um, this is uh, a, a, a indicator or a, a uh, manifestation that you can already advance okay, in your careers uh, once you have these um, competencies. Uh, it's either you can say it to yourself that you can already advance your career, that you're already competent enough, or the people around you, your, your colleagues. Okay. Then, uh, framework for developing a uh, nursing training curriculum. As I've said, this is not only for students, but also for uh, professional nurses, right? Especially those in, in the clinical setting or any uh, institution that has um, training programs for nurses. Uh, this is still one of the, the basis okay, to measure or uh, to uh, standards aside from what is already set okay, if, um, to know if a nurse or aspiring nurse is competent then uh, public protection from incompetent practitioners okay? um, this is one of the best significance as personally uh, uh, this is to protect people protect the, the the public from incompetent uh practitioners aside from uh, when one of your uh evidence of competence should be your license okay uh, license and this um core competencies should uh, protect the public from incompetent practitioners from incompetent nurses okay and that's why it's very important later when you become a nurse or as you study nursing you already have the feel you already have that um, uh, knowledge or realization uh, on what practice on what field on what aspect of nursing uh, do you want and there are yes blessed nursing or that are really did their way that they are very flexible in whatever area they, they are into. But there are nurses also that really want specializations. They're good at here, but not so good here. So um, I think that can be a factor also. Then yardstick for an ethical or unprofessional nursing practice. Um, when you say yardstick, this is the standard of measure standard of judgment as uh, Miriam would say for your for the term yardstick uh, for you to know um, what is unethical and professional nursing practice or in in our same law for a team would say illegal and ethical practice so whatever that is uh, going against the nursing law or a bigger picture is the constitution is considered to be unprofessional, illegal, and ethical. Okay, so these are the significance of um, the different core competencies in the 11 areas of responsibilities. So, uh, this is also nice to um, or important to know. Okay, so let me introduce you the uh, Core competencies. Okay, so we have um, divided this comp uh, 11 uh, key areas of responsibilities on four major competencies. So one is patient care competencies, then the next one is enhancing competencies, you enhance your practice, your, your profession, then uh, for patient care competencies, that's uh, uh, obvious. Uh, how will you give uh, very good patient care, quality patient care, okay? Then uh, empowering your profession to disempowering competencies, uh, practicing it, it right, it good, it morally, 
pay and expected of you from the standards of of the nursing profession uh, uh, here in the Philippines or international standards. So uh, let me just go back and uh, enumerate of under patient care competencies. We have uh, safe quality care, communication competencies, collaboration and teamwork uh, competencies, and health education competency. For uh, enhancing competencies, we have research quality improvement. And for empowering competencies, we have legal responsibilities, ethical moral responsibilities, personal and professional development, and the last one, we have your enabling competencies. Okay, management of resources and environment, and the last one is records management. Okay, but uh, during my presentation later, this would not be the case of or the sequence of presentation, but I'll divide it into uh, shorter video lectures. Okay, so I'll be presenting 11 uh, 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 video lectures. Um, going in depth with the different um, competencies with the diff different key areas of responsibility. So uh, just to emphasize this is under Article 3 of our uh, Philippine Nursing Act of uh, 2000 and it's under or Particular Republic Act 9173 and uh, states that the PRC and the uh, Board of Nursing is empowered to monitor and enforce quality standard of nursing practice in the Philippines and exercise the powers necessary to ensure the maintenance of efficient, ethical, and technical, moral, and professional standards on the practice of nursing, uh, taking into account the health needs of the nation. So, um, one way of ensuring the maintenance of efficient, ethical, and technical, and moral and professional standards is having these core competencies. Yeah. So, um, it's stated in our law. Okay. So, um, these are the 11. Okay, or uh, key areas of responsibilities, and uh, in in developing, okay, uh, a nurse, okay, or nurses, this would, um, as we have mentioned earlier in the significance, this would be a good uh, measure for us in the nursing profession uh, to know. Uh, who will be uh, competent and not so competent or incompetent uh, professionals and for us to know what are your areas of strength and weaknesses. So as I've discussed this, I suggest that later on uh, this would be your guide, especially when I already discussed the indicators. Okay? Uh, nursing competency is a, a, a um, is an ability okay, that is required of us to fulfill okay? and we are required also to fulfill our nursing responsibilities. Is it our responsibility to have this competency? Yes, we are expected of that. Okay? That's why it's really a challenge. Okay? And it's important to clearly define these competencies, to present these competencies in order for the nursing aspirants or the nurse aspirants to have a very good foundation, very good basis okay, of um, becoming a nurse or in other aspects, uh, a very good, um, uh, very good um, basis for nursing education. Okay? Um, it's also important to know Okay, how to develop nurses okay, and one factor in developing nurses are having these core competencies. Okay, so um, the quality of nursing is, is really um, demanding, okay, if I may use that word, 
and we should meet those demands of the nursing profession. It is really expected of us. Um, uh, this is very, very challenging. So I, um, first year students, or before you enroll, you are really asked, do you really want to, be a camp to become a nurse? You really want to study these four years, the subjects, okay? But knowing during those questions, those uh, asking of questions is much more is expected from you, much more is demanded from you. But on the other hand, okay, you, uh, for those who are watching this video lecture series, uh, personally, I hope and pray, okay? With, with faith and action, with your perseverance, determination, you will become a nurse, okay? Whether it's here in the Philippines or different parts of the world. So, um, this is the first part of my video lectures. It is under carriers of responsibilities, the core competencies of the nursing profession in the Philippines. And I hope to see you in the next uh, video lecture series to come. So next is our first competency, safety and quality care. So see you on the next video lecture series. This is Sir Emil, or I usually say my name, Sir O N E, your online nursing educator or nurse educator. Thank you for watching.